Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. In the last episode, uh, Russia declared war on us and that's why we're slowly um, picking apart the garrison at Konigsberg. And we're also at war... don't know why it's taking <laughs> so long to do this. Um, we're also at war with Sweden. Actually, no, we might not be at war with Sweden. Um, we don't actually... Oh no, we are, sorry, we are at war with Sweden, I forgot about that. Yeah, we have fought them. I, in my mind I was thinking about borders, but no, we have definitely fought them in real life. Our troops, well, in real life, <laughs> in Empire. Um, but we're taking it nice and slow. We don't have to worry about... We're not We're not worrying about trying to maximise our uh, capture of their territory. Although I may, well, go here and attack this Swedish army. Although they're Badly depleted, so that's going to be an auto resolve. Intrepidi, but yeah, we're doing it nice and slow because we, what we want to do is make sure we kill as many um, of the as many of the Swedish armies as possible before we take the territory. Let's try to kill that priest. Got him. Excellent. You try to kill the general. Thirty six percent. Okay, fair enough. Um, we're currently at peace with Sweden, with um, Poland rather. There's an army down here for Russia that's not doing anything at the minute. We also have an army pushing up towards Ust, and once they've taken it, they'll drive straight on to Arkhangelsk. Kazan is being converted. Shkan is converted, but six turns away from a new, um, from a new town, Cherkask. Is being converted slowly by the church. Apart from that, mostly it's about positioning for fighting, um, fighting uh, the Prussians. Oh, lots of juddering there. It's Mr. Ferrari, Ami Legob. Okay, you you're pushing up. You're moving up. You can't recruit anyone else, but that's fine. Now, one sec, guys. I'm going to quickly check why this might be stuttering. See you in a second. Um, nothing immediately stood out. It might just be the large concentration of um, armies in the area. Because when you click on it, it kind of has to... Yeah, this, this isn't normal. Although this might be because I just loaded back into the game. Uh, but yeah, looks like we are going to hit the end turn phase because there's not a lot to do. Okay, let's see. If we need to see if we can start clearing out some of those Russian armies. Yeah, in the meantime, we will elect to keep carrying on with our war against Russia. Because all that does is strengthen our economy, strengthen our hand in the east... I mean, Spain is still going to remain a threat. Okay, Prussia's moving around. Where are you going to go? Oh. No, nope. close, but no cigar. Building up their troops again. Oh! oh. Right. Okay, river battle. <laughs> okay, right. So there's a huge, huge amount of enemy troops. Okay, I want to do a check. I'm going to write. <laughs> I need to write these down. Buckle, 6th Regiment. So in that puckle, I effectively call it a full army. This one is definitely a full army. Twelve pounder, fourth regiment. Call that medium. Can you see the air? Fifth horse guards. Again, that's kind of a small army. Hussars, first light horse, 
three units. Gendarmerie, fifth, three units, two of artillery, regiment of horse, fifteenth, three units, line infantry, sixth. So the reason why I wrote this down is because even though the enemy should all be on the west bank of the river, the game screws you over, and this could be what screws us over here. So let's maximise putting line infantry in the field. Well, really, all we don't need is cavalry. But you, because you've got lots of depleted troops, make sure you get your full strength infantry full relatively full strength infantry up there first how it is already uh right this could be pretty awesome uh yeah one second yeah this could be huge um there could be a lot of good kills here the enemy has a lot of artillery so if i don't destroy it they're going to eventually have fewer and fewer infantry on the field let's get cracking so we're gonna need Two sets of artillery, foot artillery, covering the crossing because we're going to run out of musket ammunition by the looks of it. And we're going to need to keep one one unit of howitzers attacking the crossing and then another unit of howitzers kind of trying to snipe units as they get there. Then we're probably going to have one unit of foot artillery doing counter battery work. Probably our best unit of artillery is going to do counter battery to try and maximize on the tiny accuracy and rate of fire upgrades. But ultimately, it might not be a river battle at all. The game can screw you over like that. But let's find out. If we can win this, yes, it is a river battle. So there's the ford. We can deploy to cover immediately, which is great. There's the bridge. So typically. Okay, right. Let's assume that we don't get screwed over entirely. So these two gun teams, they're going to blast this, send this crossing with a shrapnel shot. I'm going to put two units of infantry here. And then we're going to put three units here, just just in case we do get caught out. Grenadiers bolster the back of here. Our 12 pounders can deploy back here to cover the crossing. 24 pounders deploy here and just fire at whatever targets you see fit. General in the centre. Remaining artillery piece deploy up on the high ground. Which I might want this unit then deploy up here because three guns doing counter battery is more important i can deal with two guns or two pairs of four guns engaging troops at the crossing we do have someone on our side so we need to be quite rapid who have we got who have we got who have we got Sick Regiment of Foot Line Infantry, three units. Okay, that's not bad at all. So one of them is a cavalry unit, one of them is an artillery unit. Once we break that infantry unit, my cavalry can cover that crossing. You're quick climbing whatever you want, that's great. This unit on the wall needs to engage 12 pounders. Their artillery is engaging my heavy cavalry and they come in from by these trees effectively these units I've deployed slightly off I 
The shrapnel shots torn through the 10th horse guards. Probably want to deploy a little bit differently. Let's get my skirmishes in here as well. This howitzer. Just quick line the crossing. Don't worry about anything else. So they're not crossing the bridge, which is typical. At least this is the only... Well, there might be more of them. There might be more armies coming in from the rear. Okay, let's get you out of here. 24 pounders engage the 10th Regiment of Dragoons because they're engaging us from across the river. Although you should really engage these units as they cross. I'm hoping our massed volley fires really the ones that deal the damage here. Then I'll swing cavalry in. Break them. Cease fire. Okay, now should we be optimistic? and assume that's the only infantry we have to worry about. Are you still engaging them? Let's try to quick line them. There they are firing us across the river. Good hit. Get my gunners to engage. Engage the block of infantry coming our way. Am I have a general's bodyguard trying to cross the bridge? There we go. The enemy cavalry has been broken. I think we fired just a little bit short. I see air coming in. They might make it to our lines. They're in good battle. Line. Reasonable hits, not great. There we go, lots of routing. You killed the enemy general as they tried to cross the other bridge. How goes your counter battery work? Engage that 12 pounder foot unit. Line infantry guards. Come on, Howard says, pour it on. I'm firing. Okay, if I am firing those shells short. Oh, that's a serious block of infantry there. few of them. Swiss lines coming in. So it's probably easier if I just get them to fire canister shot, really. They're just covering the breach. Canister shot's just fine. Fifth Regiment Gendarmerie. That's one of the enemy reinforcing units. 
to take my unit of Cretti out to this bridge. We don't really need to go into square to stop the gendarmerie. They're done for. Guard de corps, 29 men. Say they gotta be broken. Let's see if we can get this cavalry unit across the bridge to attack that 12 pounder. My lone gunner is engaging their 12 pounder. If they can get them other on the move, that'd be super. Killed another general. 24 pounder engaged the Swiss line. Oh no, sorry, you. You aim at them. Let's group these artillery pieces up together. Engage the troop mounted artillery. Mounted troop artillery. Big miss. Enemy hussars are coming in, but my cavalry can deal with them. There we go, we knocked out their gun. And it's to shot the ground. It's a unit of gendarmerie. Five, eighty-four. Hands to shot, whipped in. Quick lines coming in. Okay, now kill the fourth like yourselves. They're right next door. This gun team, yeah, your target is that twelve pounder. Your shrapnel shot, we could. We can blast them, really. Forming square. Heavy horse guard artillery over here. Awesome, if we can get them, that'd be really nice. Danger close quick climb. 24 pounders, let's get you engaging. Just this side of the bridge. Oh yeah, Kyosia, Kyosia. If you can knock out those... Okay, right, let's get you over here and attack the heavy horse artillery. Because that's an incredibly good unit. Enemy cavalry is running for it. My gunners have abandoned their guns. Very well, you men run. Shot. You might engage the puckle gun. Heavy horse artillery's gone, which is nice. They don't have a gun to use. They think we've broken the core of their strength. You men get out of here. Hit that puckle gun team with shrapnel shot. 
this. Short round. Okay, get my heavy cavalry over here to go deal with this 12 pounder. I can retarget my artillery over here. Huckle guns are rubbish. Hussars have come back, but the main thing is we've gone away from the gone away from their infantry. Sars will chase us down, but not before we get to attack the 17th Regiment of Foot. Then we'll go north and try and knock out some other artillery. Well, not north. Not necessarily north. There goes the enemy artillery. So speed of time a little here, just to get you guys within range. One, another depleted Rus uh, Russian army coming in. Broken and broken. Got a unit of Swiss, uh, Swiss line infantry, so just bring them up in as a reserve. So run my cavalry over here. Let's knock out a few of these artillery pieces. They're starting to bring in some larger units of infantry, but yeah, they are screwed. Mess. Let's maybe bring this Swiss line of machine over here. Kill the gun crews. Go after the guerrilla mercenaries, they'll be an easy unit to break. Don't go for them, they've just placed stakes. Go for the superior line. Guerrilla mercenaries are joining us in combat anyway. Unsurprisingly, we broke. Something more like this. You're out of range to shrap or shot those units. So just smack him with artillery. And 
this front looks a bit old hat now. Looks like they might be trying to. Well, they are amassing more on the other side. You men keep pounding them. Bring howitzers over. I mean, the forces we've got now should be fine. It's just in case they send more. They are picking off our infantry. Pour it on. Well, by the looks of it, you can actually destroy the bridge. I've never, I have never actually destroyed the bridge. That's that's probably a good idea. I've never done that ever. I no, literally, literally never. destroy the bridge they don't have anything to uh, push us from so here comes a larger Russian army in which case if we are going to destroy the bridge you guys just kind of already go over here You should be able to hold them off until the bridge is destroyed. Six pound of horse artillery. Swiss mountain Jaegers are pushing up. 21%. A few volleys will see these fellows off because they won't stand. Not in the face of concentrated infantry fire. See if you're in range. So ultimately, I might want to start quick climbing some of these troops. Show me your new field of fire. Here it comes. So they're within range of the bridge. You got yeah, you guys have enough ammunition to defend the bridge while that happens. Yeah, I think you guys do have to just start. Or, or no, let's get you involved. Let's knock out the bridge. As soon as we knock out the bridge, as soon as we can concentrate all our firepower on the crossing. Well then, the, you aren't let, you aren't letting me cross the attack there bridge very well and you can just fly a quick climb at the enemy here comes the unit Fry Jaeger they were just as successful
Then 37, 32, 16. Good hit on the Swiss Grenadiers. You don't like that one bit. If you're just going to be reorganizing, I'm going to speed up time. One more good hit should pass your beans. If they hit now, I might get the <laughs> engineers that are hiding behind them as well. I did. Holy moly. Speed up time. I really want to see if we can... I've never seen the bridge be blown up. I've never done that. I mean, obviously it's hitting all along its length, so there's no guarantees of anything. Well, that's annihilated that unit of mercenaries. They're shaken, and they're forming square in a panic. Superior line, grenade guard, superior line, superior line. Up here, got a gendarmerie plus a unit of artillery that isn't firing. Superb. So the howitzers get in range. Good. Aim at the Grenadier Guards, please. Shells in the air. Knocked a hole in the Grenadier Guards. Killed some superior line. Not bad at all. getting there. Okay, shrapnel shot. Fire. Oh, don't fire at will. Aim, aim at the grenadier guards they're pushing up. Didn't even kill any of the fusiliers that are coming in behind you. There's another unit of light infantry looking to cross the bridge, but that's going to be a very big mistake. Oh no, they're, they're engaging us. Very well. We will pull back. Quick climb coming in. Big damage. Smash that grenade unit with shrapnel shot. Misfire, I'm going to say short. At least that got some fellas. Skirmishers can engage, and again, my infantry is engaging. Another knee deep in dead bodies in the mud and water. The first Grenadier Regiment. Been called in to defend the homeland. But at what cost? One percent on the bridge. Horse artillery is moving up. How it says. You decrew that artillery. Don't have to worry about the crossing. That's well in hand. Enemy artillery is. Just change position.
So once the bridge is out, we don't really care about this crossing. Because they, they don't I don't think you're able to repair it. Okay, 91%. Focusing on hitting my reinforcements, so let's angle them a bit better. Forty-three, ninety-seven. Good quick line. How does this look when it blows up? Ninety-seven percent. You probably might not get to see it. But I'm going to at least run my infantry back up because the Jaeger Italian are in—they are in a dangerous position. Or. They've advanced up such that we can now do a lot of damage to them. I want to see what you guys do. Oh, come on, get back. 97% they've hit the other bit again. Well, now you're under fire, you do not like it, do you? Try to hit the gendarmerie. I mean, this might soon be over, although we might have reinfor enemy reinforcements coming in behind us soon. Oh, the artillery wants to cross the bridge! Big mistake, buddy O. Artillery's had enough. Still more. Two reinforcing armies are coming in from here. Come on, gunners, destroy the bridge. Got plenty of enemy artillery trundling up. Part of the reason why I want these gunners take out that damn bridge because I want them to start engaging the enemy artillery. I'm gonna. I just want to see this happen. by the looks of it. How did I do it before? No, they don't like that. Okay, let's aim behind it. You literally can't attack that bridge. Okay, so maybe we do want the unit of line infantry over here, just in case they try cross. You 
man. Just keep attacking ground. Although one of our gunners is... He has just expired. Aim at the Jaeger on the bridge. That might be the secret source. Artillery won't deploy, won't destroy the bridge, but they will. Bring you guys over here. They won't attack the bridge, but they will attack units on the bridge. Okay, so some of these units are going to start. So you're running low. The warband are out, so let's just bring my marines up. enough out of them, attack them. Who knows, maybe you can't destroy the bridge. Bring my warband back. Get them to run out of the way. Draw. When I run out of the way. There we go, we can destroy the bridge. Great. Don't worry there for a minute. That enemy artillery. And you men can leave this bridge alone. Good hit out of the 15th. So this 24 pounder unit, they're just taking taking chunks out of the enemy line. They're not actually trying to. Oh you're yeah, you're out of it. you up run you reasonably far away okay now my 12 pounder engage Swiss Grenadiers, Garrison Guards, Mercenaries, Grenadiers. Good hit. Engage these Grenadier Guards. Focus entirely on those enemy gun positions. Yeah, I didn't like that. 
Russians enemy horse grenadier guards. Lost a couple. Everyone's opening up on them. Got my one active gun. Sixty-nine. That's pretty good. Nice. Go for the eighth regiment of foot. Something like that. Bring my reinforcements up. It's a good amount of reinforcements. To worry about running people up to the to the um, Ford because we got plenty of ammunition, plenty of ammunition for our artillery. That is. More men dying. Garrison guards attempting to cross. Keep eye keep an eye on our ammunition loads. Fire as she burns. It's a bit of a miss. We still get some. Those are good hits in the center. Horse grenade eight guards coming in. They were charging. Fire their volley. Now they're under fire themselves. Mr. Shot came in. Five four pounder howitzer. Just keep backing this full strength unit. So many dead dead infantry here. Aim at that three pounder because they're on the gallop. If you get a hit on one of them, that large hitbox, they're all dead. Howitzers, reload! More quick climb coming in, lots of dead cavalrymen. Excellent, you're nearly out. 25th Regiment, they're down to half strength. I think you got that horse artillery unit. Not sure what you're going to do. You're going to go man, man again. Not your gun. We are going to man it. That's pretty cool, actually. Focus on that horse artillery unit just because they're scampering along. Quick line. Too short. Horse artillery charging our line. Yeah. It's the end of them. More artillery coming in on the left. Oh, it's a three pounder. More infantry. Once 
Once they stop, I might get on my heavy helmet to start engaging them. Unless their intention is to barrel straight through our lines. That's entirely possible. You're out of ammunition. Get these grenadiers into the field. So their first order of business. Defend against cavalry charge. So many dead horses. Artillery, artillery, artillery. They've got to be running out of men soon. Okay, there we go. up everybody else is in a reasonable ammunition state well I know we're not done because there's still a, a unit over here to deal with I might actually move one unit over here just to protect my artillery If we get a hit on that mounted troop artillery, yeah, the horse artillery tried to cross. Bad idea. Let's try quick line the light dragoons, although that might have spurred them into the charge. They are within range of the expat infantry, so let's engage them. There we go. That's the regiment of horse and the foot artillery that we were expecting. That we've been expecting all this time. Let's see if we're good for the artillery. Does that make them suddenly realise they have to defend their artillery? Or do they just run away? The artillery's dead. Now go for them. So I mean my infantry, this infantry can come back. Ammunition state is okay. The howitzers are under fire. Go for the howitzers because they're mobile. We can do more damage. We targeted them before they were hidden, so we should still try and attack them. think though this might be the end well yep yeah, how it's has got hit by our round shot yeah I think this is I think this is it there's no more enemy units entering the field let's go get them Although you guys, you guys have fought well, but you do not need to do this. The reinforcements can cross in your place. And we've still got a couple of units to defend the bridge if that's needed. Although, yeah, you want to stop firing. Oh, my howitzer's going down. They also want my 
cavalry over there. Okay, let's speed up time. This is going to be the entire episode, this battle. <laughs> So like, we are on the defensive, so we would win, because we intercepted them. But why... ...let them get away with... ...such beastly behaviour? Focusing on my howitzer unit, but we are managing to direct some of their fire. Push to close range, although the militia are not going to withstand us. Because they got hit by quickline, the expat infantry are the next in line. Use the howitzer to decrew this mounted artillery piece. They're all wavering because they've got no infantry. They're all vulnerable. There they go. You scum. You trundle back. So we are going to chase them. But only because foot artillery is really slow. Should really actually get my infantry in on this as well, not just the cavalry. The enemy artillery is well, artillery is slow, real slow. There we go, they're dead. Oh, that Continuing the battle was a bit of a waste, but that was a really big win for us. Look at that, we lost 1,000, they lost 7,300. They lost more than my entire armies. Not all of my armies. Nice. What does that reflect? What does that produce on the battle map? How many enemy units does that push away? It looks like it pushes an awful lot away. And the one strong force they've got is withdrawn. I mean, you're running around the back. That's a bit scary, actually. Uh, nope. Refuse all this. I vostri desideri? Nemico in avvicinamento! Oh, ooh, you have pushed forward to try and attack us. You know what? We will retreat. We'll give you that. We'll give you that, Russia. Interesting. You chased. You are very confident of winning. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>